The most common question I've got in this hydroponic hop mini series is, well, don't you have to use a pump? No, you don't have to use a pump. I'm not against pumps. And uh, with that said, I'm also in this mini series gonna talk about how I saved another one of my hydroponic plants with a pump. And about my hydroponic hops, they aren't doing that well. I don't think a pump would have saved them. Uh, maybe, no, uh, it's complicated. I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery. Let's go and have a look at my hydroponic hop plant. Okay, here we have it. And uh, yeah, let me show you a little closer. It's not doing as good as it could. And uh, it's my fault. See, the roots are not white and healthy anymore. And uh, a pump may have saved that. But if I had been a little better at taking care of it, I think it would have survived without a pump. A lot of dried leaves. So what did go wrong? Okay, let me tell you what happened. I picked a too small of a container and we had a heat wave here in Sweden. Yeah, I know. We had a heat wave in Sweden. Uh, we had like 32, 35 degrees Celsius in the black container with the sun shining on it all day long. Yeah, it just went through that water and uh, it got extremely hot in there. If I would have taken care of it a little better, if I would have filled up with some more water, of course, if I had a much bigger container and the container not be plants would have been much healthier today because it doesn't look that good now. I don't think a pump would have said that, but with that said, I don't have anything against pumps. They oxygenate the water, of course, and they also helps for getting a better bacterial culture in there. That amount of heat in there, yes, what I should have done was fill up more water. I did that with my tomatoes. I fill up too much water and I almost killed them and I save them with pumps. So I bought the cheapest pumps I could find. Uh, they are for indoors, so don't replicate this. I have made some precautions, so I'm not gonna die. Uh, I'm gonna use them uh, indoors after this. So a pump is a good idea. This was about doing it the Kratzky method, and this method ain't about a pump. It's about the airspace between the, uh, the plant and the water level the nutritional solution level. What the plant will do, it will grow water roots and nutritional roots down below into the water. And as it drinks, it will keep on growing, chasing the level. And on top in that airspace, the plants will develop air roots. So it will get air and will get water, but you can't fill up with too much of water like I did with my tomatoes, you might kill them. So, and if you have a container that's big enough, like on my chili plants, for example. We take a look at my chilies. Here we have a habanero behind it, jalapeno and normal Spanish chili. We have California Reaper, Satan's Kiss. Here we have Padrones. This is jalapeno also. We have bell peppers. And uh, behind it, we have also some Spanish chili. If you have a container that's big enough, this will work perfectly without a pump. A good pump costs a lot of money. So if I should have pumps for everything here, it would be very, very expensive. My chili plants, I have watered just the, the, the one time I filled up the containers. The tomatoes I have watered two times. And, uh, and yeah, the hop also two times. The first time when I filled up the container and now I added like 10 liters, I didn't want to add more. All of my other plants here in the summer, I have to water every day. So we're talking about a hundred times for my hops. This 
little fellow here below, the Halitza uh, Mittifru. I have to water it every day. It's very, very convenient. If I, I want to go away for, like, say, to London on the uh, brew tube gathering, my hydroponics plants will take care of themselves. My two small plants, the California Reaper and the Satan's Kiss, which in, in the small container I have watered a few times because I've been lazy and didn't fit them into something bigger. I hope that answered the question about the, the pump thing. So it's not needed, but it is a good idea. So how are your hops doing? Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and hit that bell and all that thing. Check out my website. If you go to my website and sign up for my mailing list, you will get my ebook for free three cool recipes for you to try at home also want to say thank you to all of my patrons and yeah you guys who kindly donated to me so cheers guys and thanks for watching dog dance out